Hey, it's Roger. I'm on location in probably one of my favorite neighborhoods of all time in Waxhaw. And this is Millbridge, guys. You know, Millbridge has been around since before the bust. Builders like Bonterra were building in here and doing great Essex homes. Pulte really just got finished. And there are some current builders in here like MI's killing it. Uh, DR Horton and Emerald Homes, their luxury brand, are killing it. And yet there are some resales on the market as well. So my question is, should I buy a resale home in Millbridge or should I buy new construction? And of course, a lot of that's going to depend on your price point, etc. But I've got Denise O'Farrell in my car. You're going to love her voice. She's from Dublin, Ireland, and she's got some insight on what are the best houses to buy. Is it resale or, you know, is it... Um, you know new construction so we just passed a couple of houses that were that are on sale right now now wait a minute i gotta stop because look here did i say millbridge was cool look at that you got a girl with a golden doodle or a labradoodle and she's killing it now denise i'm going back into this area that i sold a house or two in uh very happy about it this is the mi section with the ranch ranch and a half homes now i know you're not having pulled any comps from here but just in general we went by a Bonterra house. Tell us about that Bonterra house and why or why not that may or may not have been a good value for somebody. This was a fabulous listing, great Bonterra builder. Uh, it's 3,200 square feet, five bedrooms, three baths. It's listed at only 380. It's a great quality build. Uh, they're zoned for Cuthbertson schools, so you go on greatschools.org, you can see how great that is. Uh, well, first of all, should people be nervous that Millbridge that not every home, see look at these, these are one and a half story homes and, and these some of these are gonna be on resale, although I've got a house going up right now in a basement back there. Very few lots left here. But, but you know, why should they be concerned about the schools? For instance, you know, the Cuthbertson schools, everybody knows, but then you got the Parkwood schools. Is there any reason to like those? Well, the Parkwood schools, principal just got nominated or just got awarded principal of the year for the Union County. Union County in general has really highly rated schools. Oh yeah, no doubt. And you probably hear Jack panting in the back because he wants to get out and go <laughs> check out some of these. But I mean, Mil you know, Millbridge, the 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 uh, community house amenity center, is like ridiculous. It's you know, coffee bar movie theater, a uh, lot of space there for activities. Uh, it's just got a really great vibe. And anybody interested at all in Millbridge ought to go back and just tour that. One, That's the row right there. Go ahead. One thing you should know about Millbridge is they have crazy great value on their homeowner dues. It's only $750 a year uh -huh. for all the amazing amenities they've got. Two amenity centers, two well, pools. Well, I mean, and, and it keeps expanding. They've got new land in the back. Now look at this little pocket of uh, this median right here uh, separating these homes. So these are the homes back, we're just passing that house that we mentioned as a resale. But what's the, you know, when you and your husband moved here from Boston, you know, what did you encounter? Did you buy resale or new and why? We bought almost new. And that was because we were in a former accountant, my husband's an engineer. We're, we're very focused on value, so we were looking for what was going to best fit our needs and what was the best bang for our bucks. So we got, we, we feel like we got the best of both worlds. We got something almost new and without having to wait for it to be built and without maybe going crazy with uh -oh. the upgrades. Waxhaw police living here. I love, I want to live there. <laughs> now we're right kind of on the dividing line between the Cuthbertson schools and the Parkwood. Now this is the MI section. Uh, lot 1535 is for sale. That looks pretty much like their model, the Blythe. Uh, so if someone were to come in here and buy a new construction home, and by the way, just type in uh, either MI or, that's 1536 is available right now, or type in um, uh, the Blythe, uh, but, uh, or just type, or, you know, type in Millbridge. But there's some houses right here on this row, this one's already sold, that are available. So what's your sense about buying a brand new construction home from an established builder like MI versus a resale here in Millbridge? Well, the great thing about new construction is like, who doesn't want to move into a brand immaculate new house? You get to choose all the upgrades and features, finishes. You also, uh, you can potentially customize it, add an extra bonus room. 
uh, just for your to suit your family's needs. Those lots against the woods there, they're going to be released in the near future. Well, and nobody else's toenails in your carpet, let's face it. Well, that's no, nobody, you don't find anybody's <laughs> hair in the back of your bathroom drawer when you move in. I, that happened to me once. Oh! <laughs> that was kind of gross. <laughs> oh, well, I love new construction, Denise. I really do. Now, a lot 1529 has been released now. A few months ago, I was out here with buyers, and that one was not available. That's available now. That's a corner lot. That's a great one. You know, am I the Blythe model? You know, they ought to really just call you or me, and let's go in to see the MI Homes model. Also, uh, DR Horton has three models out here in Millbridge, and so we ought to just go see them and just see what's available. Now, it's funny, uh, 1533 is available here in Millbridge. What's interesting is that the uh, um, DR Horton has some of the homes for sale. In fact, I'm closing one here in the next week or so uh, that's in the Parkwood schools. And yet they do have lots with their Emerald Homes division that are uh, in the Cuthbertson. So just in general, why would uh, uh, someone call you to go out and show them houses? What does a buyer's agent look like if they use Denise O'Farrell? Well, basically, uh, I'm going to help them with all the considerations that they may not uh, come up with. For example, when you're doing new construction, uh, you know, you might forget to consider maybe an electrical upgrade package where you get a few extra outlets or extra lighting switches or something. Right. Oh, I do. I, the value. I, I love that. I mean, helping people think through that is money in the bank. You know, you just helped a, a client that had found me on YouTube. I showed them new construction for a few days and they decided where they wanted to be, but that they wanted a uh, resale. So you had a really good transaction with them recently, right? Yes, we had a great time. We viewed houses up in the Lake Norman area. Um, they, they actually wound up on consideration buying something very different than they originally thought they would want. Uh -huh. um, so they were really, we knew exactly the house they were going to get the minute they walked in. Wow. I could sense their excitement. Well, you did so much research. I mean, I called you one day and you were going up previewing houses, you know, 45 minutes from your home because you're a great buyer's agent. You care and you want the client's best interest to be paramount. So uh, you, the, you all are getting ready to close and that was yeah. a good transaction, well, right? Well, I knew they were only in town for a couple of days, so I did not want to waste their time um, looking at houses that were really not gonna make the cut. Yeah. So I spent two days previewing uh, wow. homes just to, to kind of get a feel for what this, because sometimes the pictures on the MLS are very pretty and then you get to the house and you don't see the, they don't put the picture of the pylon in the backyard on the MLS. Yeah, right. <laughs> my, my, my other partner, Rodney Jones, was with clients today from Boston. Of course, you moved here from Boston. I did, yeah. And uh, that was exactly what they were saying. Hey, we looked at it all up. Uh, this is the Lennar section, by the way. Uh, we looked it all up online, blah, blah, blah. We looked at Roger's videos. And when we got the floor plans, uh, it just doesn't always look the same. So boots on the ground is important, and you provide that. So, hey, Denise. Thank you so much for talking to me about resale versus new here in Millbridge. And I hope you all will reach out and let's make something happen for you in the Charlotte area.